So, when we come in contact with the wheel, because somebody crossed it, obviously, you know, this goes without saying that we don't want to cross wheels, but, you know, if you've ever ridden with more than five people, you've crossed wheels on a regular basis, your Tupperware. Oh, thanks. So, instead of leaning into it, which is very, very bad and causes crashes and you can see that all the way up to the Tour de France because those guys can't figure it out either. You keep the bike, the wheel somewhat parallel with the wheel you're making contact with. Do not panic, stay calm, and steer gradually away from it. Not in aggressive form, but gradually away from it. You probably live to fight another day. Uh, best place to move somebody around should they come into your space is Diane. Hip. Okay, good. What are you going to use to uh, uh, to move their hip around? My torso, shoulder, hip. Okay, good. What are you going to do with your elbows while those are ha while that's happening? Like out a bit. Out a bit, yes, but relaxed. Relaxed, yeah. Steph. They crunch in when you hit. They crunch in. They're feeler gauges, right? Mm -hmm. You just leave your elbows out so you make space, uh -huh. and as soon as you hit, you contact. You bring them in so where you, to where you can get your shoulder and torso on your opponent slash enemy slash. Okay, so are you going to uh, are you going to headbutt somebody because it's against the rules? Yes. Um, why? If they're in my bubble. Okay. Your bubble is all of that. The entire thing is, all, <laughs> is the big white thing behind yeah. us that uh, we're apparently uh, patient zero and can't get on. Even though, well, you know. uh, Bryant is patient zero. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, you know, but apparently, apparently parties and you know, art museums and and rock concerts and everything else uh, don't fall under the category of dangerous. But uh, but apparently, the, the community that actually put that bubble on are. Yeah. Dangerous. Very dangerous.